what is up guys? We are officially live. I think you guys can see me in the webcam. I am playing this game on my iPhone. I've got the controller connected. Now, Austin Farmer recommended to me that I use the controller and we have this built in. We have the controller built in, but I've always just played with my hands. So we're gonna use the controller to play and that way I can just look at the monitor to play this game. So I first wanna come on and thank you guys for like downloading the game. Um, launch has been going good. We've had, if you have any like issues or need help on the game, I would recommend jumping on the Discord. Um, like if I know for the first two hours on Google Play, we had a little issues with in-app purchasing. If you still have issues, email support, because we're trying to get those situated. But um, all new users now are working good and stuff, so we're starting to get things settled. But so we've been on the support side forever, trying to figure this thing out. And yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. Um, let me know how your guys' experience has been with the game. And yeah, like I said, if you need any support, um, join the Discord, shoot the support an email, something like that. But yeah, for the first time, we got American Farming that I'm streaming. And yeah, this is how bad I am with controls. I don't even know my own controls of this. There we go. Okay, Grant. This is, this is, this is so bad because I'm on controller. Okay, for a little bit, I'm gonna be playing just with my hands here because I'm used to that. But also, I'm streaming from my phone, so like, if there's any lag, it's coming through the Elgato. It's going from my phone, through the Elgato, to OBS, and then to YouTube. So um, there's a lot of different connection points here. But first things first, we are gonna start by harvesting this field. I'm gonna get harvest going on this field. I've got this field completely planted. Um, over here and so if you look here it is planted it doesn't have any fertilizer on it though so the yield isn't going to be that good across it and then we also need to get cattle feed for some of our cows over here because they i've got cows in here and they need to turn to calves and so on this save game that i have here guys i've cheated in money i bought money that's what i mean by cheating in money i've bought money um so that we start on this really giant farm with big big equipment otherwise i've got a save game um that i did not cheat in money that I also love playing because I also love the grind of starting really, really small and working your way up. So that's the plan. I'm going to run this on times 100x. So this actually, no, no, I, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it on 1x and we're going to get chopping cattle feed for the cattle right here since we don't have any feed. And then while that's chopping, once it turns to the harvested state, then I'm going to go and, um, then I'm going to go and um, uh, harvest it for corn harvest is the plan. So we'll open this up quick. Okay, guys, um, guys, uh, when you don't see American farming on the app store, it is public, but because the game is so new, it does not show up on the app store. Like because the game's unpopular because nobody's played it because it's brand new. So what you need to do is click the link in the description. There's a link to the app store and Google Play Store in the description. So if you wanna click that, that's how you get to the game. Like otherwise, even if I search the game, I can't find it on App Store. I literally can't find it because it's so brand new. So you have to click the link either in um, my video description or this stream description. Okay, first of all, what do we do? There's game audio, it's probably just a little quiet, I'm guessing, let me see. Yeah, I can see it coming through. It's just a little quiet. Let me crank it up for you guys. There you go. You'll hear it once we get going, especially the chopper. The chopper is pretty darn loud. First things first. Also, if I disconnect somehow, like I unplug and screen goes black for a little bit, it's because I pulled my cord too hard that's connected to my phone. Um, first things first, what outfit do we do? I'm probably going to go... Since we're chopping in summertime, I'm going to go this, but I don't want to go cowboy boots. I want to go like, eh, no, we'll go, we'll go cowboy, eh, we'll, we'll do these pants. We'll do these pants, shirt, um, I'm, I'm going to go the crazy American out farming outfit. There we go. We'll go just the mustache and those. There we go. Just for the stream, we're going the American out, American, American flag outfit. There we go. And we could do woman if we want to do woman too. If you if you want to be a woman character, you can do a woman character. 
There we go. Hit the dance move. Get the dog. Come on, dog. Oh, I got to name my dog, too. We're going to name Bo, I'm thinking. Okay, but we're going to get started, and we're going to get rolling. Yeah, the game's a little quiet, too, because I can hear it from my headphones. It's just a little quiet. There we go. And I'm just going to run the 1206 because it's enough horsepower on this um, to run the chopper. And so we don't need a giant tractor on this. So for now, I might as well just run the 1206 on this. Should work. Oh, you can see this field here is ready to harvest. Like you can see it's starting to turn to harvested. Um, but in reality, you can chop corn at this stage still. So I'm going to just cut through the ditch. And we're gonna start chopping some corn. And then I'm gonna let the AI worker do its thing. There we go. And then you gotta enter the field just a little bit so the tractor's in the field to start the AI worker. And then he'll cut outside a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah. Biggest thing with AI workers, guys, let it do its thing. So it's got headland passes, which is super realistic, right? Because you have like you have a bunch of fields that are really odd shaped, which is super realistic. You know, we could have done just square rectangle fields where the AI worker just turns around. We want it to be fun. And so you got a bunch of odd shaped fields. And so the AI worker will do headlands. it will go around the headland, like on this, it'll do it like eight passes or something like that. And then it'll eventually start rows. Um, but with a chopper, you know, chopper AI is kind of a little tough too, because in real life, all you do is just go around and around the field. Um, so we'll let this chop, and then I'm gonna tab back over. I'm getting an hydrus applied over here on this field. And so I actually think I I already did a headland pass and had AI going, but I'm gonna just let it do its thing and do a headland pass over here and just start start over. There we go. And I'm gonna get this guy. Oh no, I had a resume point. Well, it's fine. So I'm gonna let him do it. He'll do a whole headland pass, even though he's already done one, and then he'll start going down the rows back and forth. Then we got the delta track over here. So we're gonna put in hydras on on this field, and this field's gonna to go to corn, most likely. So that'll work good. And then I just need to get, um, let's see, let's see. That is. Okay, so he's going. I need to get another forage wagon because we're gonna have to switch out forage wagons because eventually that forage wagon's gonna get full really, really quick. Oh, where do you fill up the cedar? Okay, um, for those, some, some people were wondering where to fill up the cedar. Sorry guys, I'm not looking at chat too good. Cedar point, like here, let's just, there's two different places to fill up cedar. Look on the map here. If you look at locations, um, number 11 down here, or no, sorry, number 10 down here is it 10? Yeah, elevator and bale purchase point right there at the co-op. There's a point, there's a fill point right there at the co-op. And then if you go over here to number 10 over here, there's also a fill point on the cedar. So all, I'm gonna tab around quick. Okay, we got another 1206 here that we're gonna put on this other wagon quick. And then we got the Meyer. So we got two Meyer forage wagons, or sorry, we got a Meyer forage wagon and then we got a feed wagon too that we'll need. But quick, in case anybody doesn't know where to fill up seed, I'm gonna to drive to it real quick so you guys know where it's at. There's two different points on the map, but this is one of them coming up. So right here is one of the fill points. See this seed pile? It's right on the edge of the co-op. This is where you get like your seed, fertilizer, and hydrous even is right there. Like you fill every, liquid nitrogen, Fills up right there. Everything fills up right there. I could probably just use a, I could probably just use a uh, pickup truck to pull this, you know, down the road real quick. So it's kind of a long drive because it's such a big map. Thank you, Redneck Gamer. Appreciate it. Appreciate the super chat. Although you should spend your money in game instead of on me. Um, you should definitely spend your money in game. 
Thanks, CJ. Really appreciate it. Do you lose money from the worker? Nope. Uh, hired workers are free. And then once we get enough cattle feed, I'll probably just start combining this field. I do want to go on my, my first started save where it's a super small farm and we're on hogs because I really, I said this at the beginning, but I really, really enjoy like grinding from the start. When we're like starting small, you're having to grind your farms and work your way up without cheating in any money. That's what I actually like enjoy doing a lot. And it's tough. Like you can, you got to spend a lot of hours grinding, which is, which makes it fun. Can you sell your fields? No, you can't sell your fields. That's the only thing. So be careful when you do your fields. You can't sell your fields. Okay. This guy is going to be full pretty darn soon here. For now, I'm just gonna park this in the driveway while he's getting full. I'm gonna move the cattle trailer quick because I don't think we need it out. And then I'd like to pull out the combine. So I'm gonna pull out the combine outside quick, get the combine ready to go. Cause as soon as we get enough feed, I'm thinking we'll just, we'll most likely just, yeah, start harvesting that for corn. Let's see, this might be a little tough backing this thing out. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Gosh darn it. There we go. Perfect. Didn't have that reaction time. Is it multiplayer? No, it does not have multiplayer, guys. It's something, um, you know, we can talk about, discuss about, but um, it, it currently does not have multiplayer. Okay, that hired worker is gonna be full very soon. Let's check in. Oh, he's only 50% full. Okay, perfect. So he's still going around the field, chopping silage. And then this hired worker is still going. Eventually he'll switch to the second headland pass and then eventually start rows. Okay, what was I doing? I was getting the combine set up. We need the header on it, the corn head on it. And then I most likely gotta buy a grain cart also. Get the pickup truck. And then we got the Umferth header trailer here, which works out pretty darn good. Oh, I guess, did you guys want to see the equipment? Some Okay, so Farmhand Doors is starting rows. I think that's the, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, and Hydrus, that's starting rows. You guys want to see the dealership and everything going on over here? Tractors. There's kind of some of the tractors there. There's the vehicles, the trucks, two different semi trucks, two different tractors. You got, oh, let's see. You got all different colors of header trailers, stuff like that. Planters, got like three or four different planters. Trailers, got a bunch of different trailers, which is something I'd like to get into is like hauling more equipment with the pickup truck. Trying that out. Okay, we're gonna quick get the, and also, yes, you can. This is um, a feature that would be awesome to have in a farming game that we really wanted to happen. So you got your dog with you, and in certain pieces of equipment, you can hop in it and the dog comes with you inside. Sometimes he'll sit on the floor and sometimes he'll sit on the buddy seat. We got Bo in here, I'm calling him Bo. We got Bo in here on the buddy seat. And we'll hook up to the corn header. It's got automatic hookup. 
And also, one little tip, guys, if you guys are playing, um, which actually this is going to happen soon, if you need to disconnect a rear implement, so for example, if I need to, need to disconnect that forage wagon back there, you actually got to run up to it to disconnect it. Run up to the connection point to disconnect if you have like two implements being towed together. Um, so just a, just a little tip for you guys. And we got the anhydrous worker putting on some NH3. If I check the map quick, we go to fertilized, zoom in on this field, get nitrogen on it. And this field, the field we're harvesting with corn or chopping with corn, didn't have any nitrogen. So our yield is not going to be there as good. Okay, what was I doing? I keep getting distracted. I need to start using the controller. If I just spent 30 minutes with it, I'd get it down so quick. Because Austin uses the controller, and he loves it. He won't use his hands anymore. He just uses the controller. Okay. Our helper is going to be full soon out in the field, so I'm going to go quick switch out wagons. He's got to be full. He's got to be full. He's got to be close. We'll see. Okay, let's tap around quick. We do have the dirt bike. That is one feature. So you actually have a dirt bike that like literally you can pop wheelies and ride in there and then there's a bunch of like off-road vehicles it is a dlc pack though so if you want to rip a dirt bike or like any of the off-road crazy stuff it is extra um to to buy these vehicles because uh just regular farm equipment space game but these are just kind of special and then you get a bunch of like you get some character customization stuff with them too and then if you want you can hit this button even if you don't hit a jump you can still hit this button guys like you don't have to hit a jump it does a backflip that's Andy. Andy is one of our devs, and he is a legend when it comes to physics. Let's see if I can hit this. I'm going to hit a, ba a straight backflip with this. <laughs> and land it. Okay, okay. Enough messing around, Grant. And we got the um, we got the ATV and dirt bike here, too. Okay. Sorry, this is just too fun now. This is just too fun. Heck yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, he's so full. He is so close to being full. And Hydrus is going on good. Let's let's head back over to our... There we go. He's going to be full very soon. We'll go catch him. Is the game compatible on Android? Yes, it is. Yes, it is out on Android. Yep. I don't even know how to pronounce that hired worker's name. I'm sorry, but... Ardio? Ardio? Arturo? Did you guys catch that? I didn't see that. Does American Farming have gold retrievers? No, it doesn't as one um, one dog type. But, um, you know, our goal is to keep, you know, if the game's doing well, our goal is to keep adding a bunch of content for you guys. And we already have a bunch of content made that's just being finished right now in hopes to continue to add more content to this game, update the game, and, you know, fix any issues people are having. That's, that's our goal is to focus on anything. Like, if there's a little bug, um, we hope to fix that. Like for example, I had a little bug with my character's beard at one point when I look back here and that needs fixed. A little stuff like that we want to be able to perfect in this game. Okay, so this is full. So I'm gonna quick just stop the worker quick and lift this up. We're gonna switch out wagons real quick. So I'm just gonna go over here and then this is important that I show you guys this. To disconnect this, so I'm gonna go over here quick and all you gotta do is just run up to the back of here. So same thing if you have a gravity wagon, that's what you gotta do. You gotta hop out and run and disconnect it real quick. I really wanna get to the cattle stuff, so I wanna get them fed because I want them to start producing babies here. Okay. I'm going to, I should have dropped this off in a better point. I'm going to drop this wagon 
forge wagon right here. There we go, get out of the way quick. Park the 1206 over here. And then things like this, guys, this is just another bin site that you can purchase, um, like in case you need extra storage. It's got an auger and then it's got a near Alta truck auger too that'll unload out of the bin site. It's just a separate bin site across the map. Okay, and then sometimes it can be a struggle to back, back up. So like if you have gravity wagons, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it this time, but you can just, well, this this will work, but sometimes you can just drive across it and it'll, it'll remember the connection point. Um, but I'll just back up here to connect this. It has an automatic connection. Oh, it actually reached for it. There we go. Wait a sec. Oh my gosh, Grant, you're so stupid. Grant, you're so stupid. That was the full one. <laughs> Let's go hook up to the empty one. It might re oh shoot. There we go. Hook up to the empty one. Perfect. And then with AI, I'm just gonna unfold her. Actually, is it unfold already? Unfold it, drop it down, and then hit resume. And it'll start going again. It'll continue on its route. There we go. Perfect. Go grab the old wagon and go. This has to go into the blue silo because then this blue silo will turn it into cattle feed. So you can't directly dump this into uh, into the cattle's pen. You got to get to the blue silo quick to turn it into cattle feed. Are you still doing FS videos? Yes, yes. I will still be doing FS videos, guys. Um, and then we'll just work in some American farming videos. For PC, I love um, love farming slur, and we'll continue doing FS videos. Also, I'm pretty sure after the stream, Spencer is going to be streaming also after we're done with this stream. Okay, so I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go dump this into these blue silos here and then it'll turn into cattle feed and I can feed it to my cattle. And I've got a lot of cattle bought. There we go. We'll dump that in there. And then while the other AI, this AI worker has got to be done. I have so many vehicles. That one's still going. That one's just finishing up on an hydrus. And then that'll be ready to plant. Oh, you got ads coming. I don't want you guys to watch ads. No need. I'll skip them. There we go. Okay, so this AI worker is almost done. And this is unloading into the blue silos. Somebody said you look tired. Uh, I am, we've, we've been uh, trying to help everybody or, or um, fix anybody's issues at launch. The dev team's still working on stuff right now. So we've been going like crazy um, and those guys are the I'm not even doing anything those guys are the ones magically fiction stuff like they're trying to work on a new update array to patch a couple things that that we're working on fixing so like hats off to the developers on this because um, they're doing a heck of a job oh if you're out of gas you can reset your equipment if you're out of gas you can go here and then hit tow and then drive it to the closest like fuel spot, like back to your farm. And usually you can make it there and then you can refill your fuel at, um, at a fuel point, like right here. See those gas points or those diesel barrels? That's where you can refill your fuel. So right there, purchase fuel. Yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, real quick, while that's working, I'm gonna run and take the pickup 
and go and grab the um, the uh, Meyer feed wagon quick. So I'm just gonna put the pickup, and this is the grain site. So if you guys want to like dry grain, you can get a better price when you dry your grain at your own bin site and then haul it into the co-op, which we haven't even got into yet. Um, but we got a dryer on the uh, on the grain site. Is it a one-time purchase? Yes, it is a one-time purchase. You purchase it for $7.99 USD. And then um, if you do want to like cheat in a bunch of money though, you do have to pay to cheat in money. Or if you want to get like a couple special DLC packs, those are also available for extra money. But yes, it's not like a subscription or anything like that. Okay, why am I doing this, Grant? You unload or you disconnect like that. Okay, let's quick run down there. And then that AI worker, he's just going away. He's chopping with the 1206. Doris is stopping. That's the Enhydrus. So we could probably start her on another field here. But we'll probably get her started on the combine, most likely. Yeah, if you guys aren't one to purchase it or, like, your parents won't let you get it now or something like that, um, I just asked for it for Christmas if you guys really, uh, really, really want this game and stuff. It, it'll make a pretty good Christmas present. And I should also say that um, I do have to disclose this. I am the, the owner of the company and game, and there's a whole team behind it. But, um, you know, we do directly uh, benefit from sales and stuff. So when you buy the game, you're supporting us, and you're supporting the game, and you're making it better and stuff. So I should disclose I'm directly... Uh, don't run over the trucks. I'm directly incentivized to promote this game. That was a long way of describing that. Okay, so you can't actually use this feed wagon with a pickup truck, but um, and I'm gonna use a controller for this. I'm kind of tired of playing with my hands. We're gonna use a controller and just stare at the screen. Oh, the controller's not connected. It fell asleep on me. There we go. button that's embarrassing we're not going to use the controller i don't know the control is good enough um also if you guys do need help help menu has all of these like these controls i should have read through them ahead of time but the help menu like literally has all the controls harvesting planting if you ever get stuck like corn crops it shows exactly how you should fertilizer like everything is in the help menu And then my favorite, probably one of my favorite, a, a good feature, and it's maybe not my favorite, but check this out. When it turns to nighttime, the sky gets dark like this, but you still have enough light in the game where you can see fine. And you don't need lights. And that's what always one thing that's annoyed me with just video games in general is they make their nighttime way too dark. And it's like, I don't want to record a video when it's this dark, or I don't even want to play the game when it's this dark out. So you still get the nighttime effect, but you can still see um, really darn good. Works pretty good. So we got the 470 Meyer feed wagon. I'm gonna just drop this right here. Let's put some feed in her. I've got kind of a mess around the farm right now. It is not organized at all. I told myself I was gonna get that cattle trailer inside. That did not happen. Actually, let's go park this. We'll go park this in the quant set. Although I should just leave my pickup truck sitting outside. Just park her in the quant set for now. There we go. Um, okay. We need to get some type of tractor on there. I, I'm going to go a little overkill and I'm going to put the MX... Well... Yeah, we could put the... I'm going to go overkill. I'm going to put the MX-230. We got a load of um, urea or PNK. I forgot what I got in the spreader on here. I'm going to disconnect this and put this on the feed wagon. It's a little overkill. I'd rather use a 1206, but it's kind of the tractor we have sitting around right now. And we have no calves in the, the calving pen because we haven't. They, they don't have any feed, so they won't produce any calves yet.
There we go. And then this harvester will turn it into cattle feed here. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to back up quick. And we'll unload into the pen here. Oh my gosh. I was looking at the chat the whole time. I do need to get some P and K out on some of these fields, so that's probably what I'll do next. There we go. We'll unload this. Get some cattle feed in there. Just enough so they at least start having some calves. And then I'm going to fill it up and then probably go unload it into the yearling, the feedlot pen over here too. So that way these guys start growing. I'm missing. I'm missing. It's okay. It's going in though. We're good. This is probably one of my favorite tractors. It's got that old diesel sound where you can hear, you, you can really hear the engine. It's not like getting knocked out by the deaf sound or the emissions sound like some of the newer tractors. Okay, we're gonna drop some feed in the feed bunk here. Get these guys fed. That way they at least have some feed. And we should be good. Okay, I do wanna check in on these guys. So if we go to animals quick, calving pen, they have feed in there and they're all cows right now. So at a certain point, they will produce calves, but they got enough feed for now, should be good. And then these guys, these steers have enough feed where they should be good for now. And then I think, I bet you my AI worker over here is probably, oh, yep. He's like a little bit away from being full. Okay, we need to switch that out real quick. I'd say we probably got enough cattle feed for now where we should be good. I'm probably gonna start combining this, I'm thinking. Actually, we'll keep them going. We'll keep them going. Eh, we could start combining it. Actually, no. What I'm going to do... Eh, we could start combining it. He's full. But I do need a bunch of cattle feed. So I think... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is start planting this field. And then we'll go and grab... Um, then we'll harvest this field. see I don't know if we'll need the versatile or how much we'll need the versatile I should probably park in the grass I'm just gonna park it up by the shed and then hydrus there we go we'll just park her up by the shed quick for now um okay that guy's full am I gonna start harvesting that field or do I want to start planting I think I'll start planting so I'm gonna grab jump in the magnum quick and we'll start planting some corn This is the 36 row planter. So this is the biggest planter we got in there. I probably don't have my volume cranked up enough because it's kind of quiet on my end. I need to probably crank it up in the stream, I'm guessing. Is there withering in plants? No. So like you can have corn out here for three years and it's not going to like wither away and you can't harvest it. This is a big planter. So like with AI, it'll do, I forgot one or two headland laps on this field. It depends on the field, but it's such a big planter where by the time you do two headland laps, like you pretty much got a lot of the field done. So it'll be interesting. We'll be able to knock out a lot of field just with this planter alone. Okay. We are rolling, and I should be driving some of these fields myself. I just like, I think it's more efficient just letting the AI do it. So that's why I do it, and then it'll start rolling. And we'll let it do its thing. It's got to overlap a little. See how it's overlapping like three or four rows in the grass? It's got to do that so it can make this corner up here. It can make the turn without missing stuff. So you'll see right across there, and then she's rolling. I used to at one point think like the, the crop planting texture was like weird. Why is it like you have plants in the ground? But I've come to after we implement that, I'm like, 
gosh, I really like that texture. It's kind of cool to see your baby plants in the field after, even though, you know, in real life it takes, uh, what, two, three weeks for emergence or something like that. I like seeing it right after the planter goes, actually, this time. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? We're going to start harvesting. But here's the deal. Let's see. I'd say we got enough done. There we go. I do want to get harvesting some corn here. So I'm going to just fold this up. And we'll go and put this. Do you guys like the nighttime mode? I'm very curious. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on nighttime. Like right here, I feel like you can see the game pretty darn good. Are you guys liking the nighttime mode or what are your guys' thoughts on it? I just love how the sky turns dark, but yet you still have enough light to easily play the game. The game needs manual attach. It does. The game does have manual attach in some aspects. So like right here, you got manual attach. It's only on like if you have two different pieces of implements. But for example, you can pull the header trailer behind a combine and that's manual attach. Well, I think it is. No, actually, never mind. It'd be regular attach. How do you dump this uh, wagon? I'll show you. It goes in the harvester. I guess I should have tell, told you guys that. Because some of you guys probably think this wagon goes in the just the cattle feed trough. It has to go in the harvester first. And then you got to take the feeder wagon and unload the feeder wagon. Um, fill up the feeder wagon from the harvester at this spout right here. And then dump it into um, the feed trough. There we go. So we'll dump that. We'll let that do its thing. I think Squadbill Inc., the YouTube channel, just dropped um, a comment that there's one guy saying he can't load in past character customization, which is a bug. A few iOS users have also said the same thing. So if you have that issue, um, contact support, because right now the devs are trying to work on solving that issue. With some low, very low-end devices, um, they're having an issue like loading in past character customization. I think it's on iOS, and it's, the, it's like your low-end devices, I'm pretty sure. So contact support because those guys are working on it right now. Okay. Um, okay, what was I going to do? We got that. We got that. We got the planter going, planting. I'm going to get the combine going. And I'm probably going to have it do the headlands even though we took the corn off and just let it, let it do its thing. We could start just straight on rows. But I think it's best to probably let this knock out some headlands first and do its thing. Which will take a little bit, but it'll work out, I think, better than just starting the rows. Holy crap. This is a big header. And I can't even get through here without scratching my semi. Oh, by the way, if you knock over signs... Check this out. Oh, did I not hit the sign? There you go. You can literally knock over signs like garbage cans and everything in the game. A little neat feature we just played around with and added. It's kind of fun. Okay, yeah. So even though we took off some silage rows, I'm just going to let the AI do its thing and start harvesting. That way it can do its two or three headland laps and then go and start rows here. Okay, so while that's going, do we run a grain cart or do we, or do we run wagons? Yeah, some people are asking if you need Wi-Fi. You need Wi-Fi to download, download the game, and then you need Wi-Fi to buy in-app purchases stuff. But if you just want to play the game, um, you don't need Wi-Fi to just play the game. But if you do want to like buy in money or buy DLC, you will need Wi-Fi for, for that. Oh, John Deere fan. I had the issue loading in the game, asked for a refund, and then reinstalled the game. Nice. That works good. Yeah, if you guys have been loading issues, like John Deere fan, we just got that solved for him. Um, we're working on trying to 
solve people's issues. Can you sleep? There's no sleeping, but you can go times 100x speed like this and in about like two minutes, it's gonna be daylight. So it's basically the same thing as sleeping. If it does say incompatible with this device, guys, that is because we limited it for low-end devices. So low-end devices can't download it because we knew some low-end mobile phones wouldn't be able to handle this game. And so that's why we did that. So unfortunately, if you do wanna play it, there's probably gonna be some options I'm guessing on like an emulator um, if you want to mess with those, otherwise you might just have to get a better device to play it. Cause it is, I mean, it is kind of a high end game for the mobile aspect for mobile games. We do need, let's see. Every, I think people said grain carts, grain carts or wagons. Um, we're going to grain. Some people are saying wagons. I'm so excited for this game. I'm going to give it a rating. Th yeah, thank you for giving it a rating. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Okay, a lot of people are saying grain cart. We're going to get a grain cart. And I'm going to put the grain cart on this. Um, we're going to put it on the... 9380 quad track. Yeah, we're gonna throw a grand, grand car on the 9380. Or, yeah, we should have enough horsepower, I think. Let's see first. So, dealership, grain carts. Do we get the Balzer 2850 grain cart? Which requires 500 horsepower. The only tractor that can pull this is the Delta track. Do we get the Brent Avalanche, which is of course 300 horsepower oh we could pull that pretty good we could pull that pretty good with the 9380 it only holds 1500 bushel though or we could get a gravity wagon too i think let's get the 1500 brant avalanche and then we'll pull it with the 9380 because it requires 300 horsepower that'd be perfect yeah i think that'd be perfect otherwise we could put a magnum we could put a magnum on this too the Magnum, the MX-285 would work too. Um, okay, we'll do this. I would like to get in green, but I know you guys are going to get mad when I miss color match the tractors. This is one of the funniest games I've ever played. Probably because of the character customization, I'm guessing. Is it on Android or Apple? It's on both. It's on both. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll go red because I do kind of like the color match. We'll purchase that and then I'm going to farm here Gregory driving to row entry. So that's our comp or that's our uh, planner. Okay. So I'm going to go quick to equipment. I'm going to cheat. I know this is bad, but I'm going to cheat and I'm going to just tow this tractor for 50 bucks and it's going to start at the dealership. Actually, if you really want, if you really want to cheat, you can just click on this and you can hit drive and it'll go right to it. Although, I could just buy another tractor. We could buy like the versatile four-wheel drive tractor for this too. 620 horse. Could buy a Case Magnum. Ah, we'll, we'll go with, we'll stick with the 9380. There we go. We'll get hooked up to her. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna run down the road quick and then we'll go catch a combine. We are gonna need, like a, we are gonna need a grain trailer at some point too. But yeah, we'll head down the road quick. Hold on. We should probably have the dog with us, but it's fine. He's resting at home, he'll do good.
Thanks, Jake. Really appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying it. Thanks, thanks to Brody. Thank you for the rating. Really do appreciate it. Fastest way to make lots of money is use your fertilizer. Make sure you have your fields fertilized. I'm talking, you need your nitrogen on your fields and you need your P and K. Because if you look right here in the help menu, check this out. Yield bonus. Tillage doesn't really matter. It doesn't, got the question once in a little bit. Uh, can you use a controller to play with? Yes, you can use a controller to play with. I was just using a controller besides it doesn't, um, besides I'm a noob and I haven't used controller before besides for five minutes before this stream. But yes, controller works great. Um, Austin was playing on it. And I'm gonna figure it out for next stream. Um, but controllers are super simple. Like an Xbox controller that has Bluetooth, it'll work perfect with your mobile device. And then here's all the controller controls. And then you got like, if you wanna look through all these, you can look through all these. There's a lot of different controls that do a lot of different stuff. Okay, um, yield bonuses. But look at this, on corn, you get a 50% yield bonus if you have nitrogen out there, which is realistic. That's with real life. And then P and K, you get 25% yield bonus. So if you're not putting those out there, you're not gonna yield that much and you're not gonna get much um, for crop yield. So make sure you get your fertilizer out there. Can you make a grain train? Yes, I will make a grain train because I do love wagons. I don't know why. I had a good experience with wagons this fall, but um, yes, I, I do still love wagons. Thanks, Evan. Uh, I'm just looking up here. I thought the game is the best mobile phone game. Thanks for all your hard work. Holy crap, Evan. You just gave me 80 bucks, man. My gosh. Thank you, Evan. I appreciate it. Um, and also, Evan, you don't have to give that money or, or anything. I really appreciate it. And uh, feel free to spend that on the game instead of giving it to me. Because trust me, it'd, be, it'd go further in the game. Okay. Let's see. The combine's probably not going to be that full because I don't think I had fertilizer out here on this corn. So it's not going to yield that good since I didn't put fertilizer out here on it. Let's see, how's the planters doing? Okay, planters got this completely planted because it's all black. Once it turns all green, it'll be ready to harvest. Okay. And do we have... Do we have calves yet? Probably not. I want baby calves. We'll get them soon. Okay, what was I going to do? Oh, planner's still going. It looks like he's done, though. Should be good. Gregory, fold him up. And I think I'll disconnect the planner. I'll probably put the Magnum on two wagons. If you can't find the game in the App Store, guys, check the link in the description. Link in the description has the game. Will it be cutting grass and baling hay? Thanks, Alex, for the super chat. Um, I can't say exactly, but I'm going to say this. I know it needs in there. So I'm going to say that. Um, I can't say like when or how or if it's going to come. Wink. But I can say it. No, I know it needs in there. And we're, we're actually working. We're actually working with a few brands to get it in there. That's what I'm going to say. So I just can't give you like a date and stuff. But we, we all know it needs in there. Okay. Yes, guys, it's a mobile game. See, people are like, oh my gosh, this game looks like trash. And I'm like, dude, it is a mobile game. I'm playing this on this tiny device. I don't have a giant PC set up next to me. If I, if the game was a PC game and I tried to play it on mobile, my phone would start on fire, man. It's a mobile game, guys. It's a mobile game. Okay, um, Combine's going. He should be good. Let's go grab. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to back the planter in. I'm going to grab two wagons because we're going to use wagons for this. So farmhand Anthony driving to row ent entry. So that's the combine getting started on rows there. I'm just going to back the planter into this cold storage shed quick. If you have Android and it says the game is not compatible with your device, it's because we limited certain devices, like some very low-end devices we limited to not be able to purchase this game because we didn't want to have people crashing and have a disappointing experience. We just said, hey, there's a chance it might work, um, but we wanted to limit it, at least for now. 
So we, we, we will look at that in the future. But if you do have like a parent that has a better phone or a better device, or if you're upgrading, that's where I would recommend to, um, Gosh dang it. Probably shouldn't have parked the grain cart in the middle of the field, Grant. There we go. Ooh. The audio is completely messed up on my end. I need to unplug the Elgato and plug it back in quick, because the Elgato does this. The Elgato is my recording device. Okay, one sec, guys. See that? I was hoping this didn't happen. It happened when I was recording. The audio is messed up. And it's my recording device. It's Elgato that's doing it. See that? It is. Okay. We'll let this guy resume his last. Hopefully he doesn't hit the... Okay. That is horrible. That is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect Elgato real quick and plug it back in. This might be risky. There we go. And he hit the grain cart again. I moved my grain cart into a horrible position. There we go. Let him do his thing. Okay, well, let's go grab some wagons quick. Where's my uh, magnum at? Oh, it's in there. How do you get it on the app store? You click the link, there's a link in the description. Um, you can't search it because it's not popular enough yet that it comes up because it's only been out for like five hours. Okay, let's head on down to the dealership quick. Let's pick up our buddy. He should be at the house. Buddy Boo. Come on, Boo. There he goes. He's just watching. He's just having a good time. And let's change our outfit real quick, too. Let's go. What do we go? What do we go? What do we go? I always have my favorite go-to, but I'm going to go to a camo. Camo. Then we're going with a corn hat. <laughs> it's a little crazy. Maybe not the corn hat. Let's go with the let's go with the IH hat. There we go. We'll change our hairstyle to well, we could go white. Go with like an older old, older main style. Yeah, let's do that. Got the camo outfit on. Oh, hold on. It's cuz I exited the store. There we go. Now we got our buddy with us. He should be riding in the tractor. There he is. Hop in, buddy. I'm hoping to start a series where we start from scratch. That's my goal. Like, if we can start a series where we start from scratch on my other save, that's what I want to do because, I don't know, I, I like grinding the game for like five hours and trying to start from scratch and trying not to cheat in any money. It's $7.99 one time. It's not like a $7.99 a month subscription or anything. It's just one time. We've been streaming for an hour already? Are you kidding me? How long is this live stream grant? I have no clue. I have no clue. It feels like it's been for 10 minutes. Oh shoot, missed my turn. There we go. Okay, we need to buy some wagons. So if you wanna buy money too, this is how you buy money right here. So like 50K, 99 cents, dealership. We're gonna buy some Brent wagons. I would like to buy green just for fun. 
because we have everything red. We're going to buy two Brant Green Wagons, 757, so we'll be able to hold a lot of bushels. There we go. Oh, I got my uh, like ATVs in the way right now. Got my three-wheeler. We'll move the three-wheeler. Way better than Farm USA 2. Appreciate it, Spreen. Really appreciate it, man. Farm USA 2 is a pretty solid game, too. So I appreciate that. Like I said, guys, we've been building this for three years. It's come a long way. It's taken up a lot of time. And a lot of people have worked on this project just to get it where it's at today. So hopefully we can continue improving it, keep adding a bunch more stuff, and, um, and improving it. And if people got bugs, hopefully we can fix any bugs or any issues like that. Um, but, but yeah, so I really appreciate you guys. How do you sell tractors? To sell a tractor, you go to equipment over here, the equipment tab, and then like you, you click on the 1206, for example, and then you hit the button sell and that'll sell your 1206. Okay. Our combine driver is full. Let's hop over there real quick. Yeah. He is really full. I, he, he stopped at a bad end of the field, guys. I don't like doing this, but I think I'm going to do it anyways. It's unrealistic. And it makes me cringe having to drive through the corn, but I think I'm going to do it. Can I buy the game right now? Yes, you can. It is live. It's, it's been live. Yes, sorry. I, yes, it's live. How to sell land. The one thing is you can't sell land. Um, there's just a, you just can't sell land. There we go. We're going to let this fill and then I need to kind of get out of his way because he's going to turn around here. I hate doing this. I'd rather catch him on the go quick, but this is going to work. Should work good. If you type American Farming Squad, your game pops right up. I got 350 in playing time. You got three hours and you almost four hours of playing time and love the game already. I appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I didn't realize our game would co would actually pop up already if you type American Farming. Because sometimes, like, because it's so new, it doesn't pop up on the App Store. You gotta you gotta click click the link in the uh, description to actually find it. Okay, we're gonna let him keep doing his thing here. I have so much equipment that I'm doing a bunch of tabbing around. There we go. Okay, check this out. You can, t since it's so hard to back up a wagon in game, if you time this correctly, you can actually get the wagon to hook up by driving past it. You just gotta be, come on, it might not work. I wasn't close enough. Let's see if I can get this to turn. Come on, Grant. It is so hard to back it. There we go, we got it. So it's got automatic connect, it'll find it. But in real life, it is so hard to back up wagons and connect to each other. So that makes it easier where it just automatically connects. Okay. Well, farming, farming, well, American farming be on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that work or what that would work like. We'll look into it. You got the first two minutes. It was out. I appreciate it, man. Oh, if you search squad built, it'll come up. Yes. If you search squad built on the app store, it'll come up. And like in a day, it should start coming up on the App Store too if you search American Farming. It's just the game is so new that it's like not in the SEO yet of the App Store. Yeah. If you guys want to find it in the App Store, go check out the link in the description. That's the best way to find it. Okay. The thing I like about this Magnum, top speed, 32 mile an hour. So I can fly pretty good. Probably the best thing about this game so far is the map is giant across here. It's absolutely insane how big it is and how many fields. Like this is one field right here that I'm harvesting. And this is a 13 acre field. We have a 61 acre field over here. So, and like look at, and there's a couple 22 acre fields over here. So if you really start scaling up, 
and you start getting big equipment and stuff, that's really where you start making money. Just in real life, like when you start scaling up, you do some big time farming. If you got good commodity prices, you know, you'll start making a lot of money. You can see he's not yielding like crazy good. He's already done like half the field. That's because I don't have any fertilizer out here. I need to get fertilizer out here. I've got so many ATVs. Okay, I'm going to sell these ATVs so I can just at least tab around here. Sell these. Sell these. Okay, there we go. We got... Do we have calves yet? I could speed up time and we could get calves. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Nah, not yet. But once I speed up time, we'll have calves. Where's my grain cart? There we are. Okay, we'll do some alone on the go here. When you're alone on the go, if you keep in first gear, because the combine runs in first gear at six mile an hour, if you keep in first gear, you'll be able to load on the go pretty well. There's a bunch of, uh, a lot of people are asking a about a bunch of different DLCs. We do want to add a bunch of d different DLCs at, at, a, at some point. And so, like, that's that's a big thing is to add a bunch more content um, to the game. So, um, we will. Whatever people want most for DLCs is probably what we're going to start by adding first, most likely. Got to make sure I'm aligned. There we go. We're doing it here. We're doing it. Hold on. Get a little faster. There we go. Okay, make sure I'm on the row. I love first-person camera. I don't know why. Even though it's a mobile game, I like it. It's realistic. It's realistic. In the start, you only have 30k. Like I said, guys, start of the game's tough. You gotta grind. You gotta. You gotta be able to um, uh, to start off. It's a grind, and that's kind of what I like about games. Just got done playing it. It's amazing. Thank you, Riley. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. If you can't find it on Play Store, guys, check out the, like I said, check out the link down below uh, to be able to find it. Okay. Once we get to the end of this row, I'm just going to let him do his thing. He'll make the turn. And we got him unload a little bit. Do your thing, buddy. Make the turn. We'll go dump into the wagons, probably. Put her in road gear and get burning. Yep, you start with a farm. You got your own small starter farm, uh, starter farm that you can start on. Okay. Make this turn. Drop them in first gear. I gotta make sure I get close enough, but don't hit the tractor. Am I close enough? Not close enough. Happy launch day, Grant. So excited for school building everyone involved. Thank you, T Rice. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, T Rice. T Rice was actually a beta tester for us. So we had this in beta for months and months and months. Um, and T Rice was one of the beta testers. Okay, there we go. We might be too close now. Oh my gosh, I'm too close where I'm hitting the wagon. This is how bad a driver I am. I almost did that in real life once with my neighbor's grain cart. Don't tell him though. I'm joking. I, I did almost hit it, but uh, you can tell him. There we go. That one's like 50% full. Combine's still run out there. Like I said, we're not going to get that big a yield off this field. It needs fertilizer. We didn't have any on here. So I'm going to quick just hop in the Magnum. And let's go take this to our bin site and just start drying at least. I'm pushing my phone to the max by streaming on it with an Elgato. Then I have my controller connected even though I'm not using it. Then we're playing American Farming. Streaming on it does not help the case. Oh, 
there we go. Over to the bin site. We should probably just sell it at the elevator. Start dumping. And then since I have six different bins here, you can actually choose like put corn in bin one, put beans in bin two. Works pretty good. There we go. It is dumping. You can see it dumping over there. How do you disconnect the chopper box from the chopper? Net, net attack. You got to go walk up behind, behind it um, to disconnect it. Just like this. Just like if I have two implements here, to disconnect this second wagon, I have to go walk up right here to the hitch. And then I get this little icon here to disconnect. That's how you have to do it. It's something I tried to say in videos so people know, but that's how you have to do it when you have two uh, like implements connected. Okay, we're gonna swing around and head back to the field quick. Thanks, 989. Name the dog Buck. I named him Bo already. I like Bo. Well, Buck and Nate be playing it. Buck should be playing it. I don't know what he's doing right now. He should be playing it. Nate's already played it, I know. Eventually, I'm gonna have to cut through this ditch. I should have, we should have added a, and this is on me, because I helped build a lot of the map. Um, we should have added a road right across here. We're gonna just cut through the disc. Check out those physics though. Insane. There we go. We're gonna park the wagons right there. Let's go catch the, the uh, combine real quick. How much? 94%. I was going to say, how much battery do I have? He's rolling. If your parents won't let you get it, some guy commented his parents won't let him get it. Um, if you want, you can ask for it for Christmas. It'd make a good Christmas gift. And that's kind of why it worked out perfect to release it now is if you can't get it now and you ask for it for Christmas, maybe um, maybe it'll end up being a good Christmas gift. How do you buy land? To buy land, you go into the to Realty and then you can go to Plots and you can click on eat any different piece of land and then hit the button purchase to purchase the land over here so for example I'll purchase uh, this field well let's purchase a field close to us we'll purchase this field for $69,000 you will not be able to sell this field later okay and purchase it and then we own that field so that's how you purchase it okay time to load on the go we'll go first person here And AI detects. I'm coming in hot. And gotta get underneath them. And we'll start unloading. There we go. Oh, shoot. Neutral. There we go. We're unloading. We're doing it. How do you make bales? There is, that's the one thing, there is no hay in this game right now. You can only buy bales. Um, like I said, we know that's an issue and we're gonna we're gonna address that I, we got a lot of cool plans for hay so what phone do you got grant i got a iphone 15 14 or 15 15 i think we're spilling we're spilling speed it up grant there we go Okay, we're gonna let him do his thing. Throw in road gear, head back to the wagons. My favorite aspect about this game, and I know I we I, I own the company, we built it, we you know, I, I literally made the map of this game and laid out everything. But my favorite part is is the farmsteads. Like every one of them looks like a true Midwest farm farmstead. 
If you went to Iowa, this is what a Midwest farmstead would look like, is these farm setups. That's what I love most about this game, 100%. It's going to start dumping in that one, even though we want to dump in the front one. Oh, shoot, Grant. You keep doing it. You can't hit a wagon to save your life. Let's just dump in the back one, then. We're already empty. I got to be the worst grain cart driver out there, man. Oh, my gosh. Can you use a controller? Yes, controllers work great. I just never play games on a controller, and I got one sitting next to me that I need to use. I'm using my hands right now. Trying to watch and play at the same time? Yeah, that's that's tough. I can't multitask worth a crap right now. Why can't you sell land? Will that feature be added? Um, we'll discuss it internally, but it's very complex if you sell land because there's a lot of factors we have to take into consideration and build the UI around that. So for now, you, you can't sell land. But we will uh, discuss that. Aiden says, I bought two DLC packs and it took my money. Aiden, if you bought the game in the first two hours, we had some issues with that on Google Play. If you if you had that on Google Play, the first two hours of people buying it had some issues with purchasing. Um, I recommend contacting support because we want to make that right with people. Everybody that bought it after the first two hours it was launched is perfectly good now. We got that issue fixed. But contact support on that because that is, uh, that is not right. We need to get you your stuff. That was a bug that happened on our end. And it was the Google Play people in the first two hours the game was out that that bug was out there. How do you feel? Oh, how do you feel seed and fertilizer? Um, real quick, real quick, real quick. To fill seed and fertilizer, see that co-op over there, guys, in the distance? That tall co-op right above my head? You can go over there to that co-op to fill seed and fertilizer. There's a fill point. There's like a seed point right around the edge of it. You can fill a seed bag point. And then over at the co-op in town, you can fill it too. So if you go locations here, check this out. Locations. If you zoom in on number 10 here, Number 10, the elevator and bail purchase point, you can do it. And then if you zoom in on number 10 over here, there's also that same point where you can fill seed and fertilizer. If you watch the tutorial, it would have showed that too. The game, guys, to find the game, you gotta hit the link in the description. On the App Store, the App Store game is, um, you can't search it because it's just so such a new game, it doesn't come up when you search it. If you buy another DLC, will be available in, an, in the other game. Yeah, so like if you unlock the off-road DLC, those, that equipment will be available. You won't have it like standard at the dealership, but you'll be able to purchase it. It unlocks for all of them. Cody7, how do I sell grain? grain from my corn harvest oh simple um here let me show you so i got grain in the wagons here and you can take it to your bins or you can take it to um take it to your bins to store for a higher grain price so like right now guys the grain price is corn you can see where it's at it's at 628 if you go to the main elevator it's 655 a bushel if you go to yield mill it's 603 we're gonna go to ye old, ye old Mill. It's a little lower in price, but it's closer. So it's right over there. So you take it to the elevator and you can sell grain there. And Cody7, I watch you on YouTube, man. Nice videos. Like I've watched you on YouTube before. I've got just like a little bit amount of grain in both these wagons, but we'll sell it anyways, just to show you guys how. Okay, he's finishing up on corn. I'll go sell it at the uh, does AI cost money in game? Nope, nope. AI does not charge you money or anything. Does it take Wi-Fi? It takes Wi-Fi to download, but not to um, not to like play the game. If you want to do in-app purchasing stuff, if you want to like buy money or buy DLC, yes, you do need a Wi-Fi connection to do that. Okay, so this is one dealership where you can sell grain, Cody. Just pull in here. It's got a money sign, and sell your grain. I missed it. I missed it. I was looking for the point. My thumb was covering. There you go. Sell 80 bushel. Moisture's 19.5%. So if I were to dry it, I'd actually get more money. But 
sold that. And then I think I have some grain still in one of these. There we go. And then we have some grain in the back of this one too. We'll sell. And it's sold. There we go. But that's how you sell grain. Okay, let's head back onto the field. This is not... Do you have to have a PC to get mods? No, this is a mobile game, guys. This is a mobile game. This is not a PC game. This is mobile. This is American farming. Cody7, yes. The grain needs to be transferred to wagons or a semi. The smallest wagon there is is a Kilbro's wagon. It's the orange one. Or you can get a semi to transfer grain. Okay, uh, workers finishing up harvest, guys. I think this is where I'm going to end the stream. I appreciate you guys. I know my brother, Spencer TV, he's going to be streaming American Farming. And I know Austin Farmer is going to also be streaming American Farming here tonight. If those guys aren't streaming, I'm probably going to jump, jump on and stream again. And maybe we'll start on the small starter farm or something like that. But I appreciate you guys watching this stream. Appreciate you guys. Um, and thank you guys for everything. This has been a super su successful launch day. And if anybody needs help in the game or support or anything like that, jump in the Discord. There's a Discord link down below or contact support, which is support at squadbuilt.com if you need any help at all. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And we look forward to like adding more content in the game, fixing anything that's broken, and like doing anything like that. So I... I can't thank you guys enough. Um, it's been a long three years of trying to build this game. and Everybody on the team's done awesome and ended up doing, doing pretty well, I think. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next stream. Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys.